Hey everyone, let's dive into an epic historical event that's not talked about enough, the Aksumite invasion of Himyar. Now, picture this, it's the early 6th century, and the stage is set in the southern part of Arabia, a region known back then as Arabia Felix. This place had already seen some drama over the centuries, with the powerful kingdom of Aksum from across the Red Sea getting involved in local politics and forming alliances with the tribes there. But things were about to heat up even more. So here's what went down. The Himyarites, who had converted to Judaism by the late 4th century, had formed their own Jewish kingdom. Initially, they even managed to keep things cool with Aksum. But, as with any good story, peace didn't last. By the early 500s, relations between these two kingdoms took a sharp turn for the worse. The Himyarites, under their ruler at the time, began persecuting the Christian community in southern Arabia, which didn't sit well with the Aksumites. Then came the turning point. In the early 6th century, the region was hit by a severe drought, weakening the Himyarite kingdom significantly. Sensing an opportunity and wanting to protect the Christians, the Aksumite king, known as Negus Caleb, decided it was time to step in. He sent his general Hayan on a mission to put an end to the persecution. The first invasion in 518 was a success. The Aksumites installed a Christian ruler, Madakarib Yufur, in Himyar, thinking the job was done. But the peace didn't last long. In 522, Yusuf Dhu Nuiz, a Himyarite leader, overthrew the Aksumite-backed king in a coup and took power for himself. He was determined to wipe out the Christians, setting churches ablaze and targeting Christian communities across the region. In 524 he even besieged the Christian city of Nudron, ordering a massacre of its inhabitants when they refused to convert to Judaism. The news of these brutal actions spread like wildfire, setting the stage for even more conflict. So, after the brutal massacres led by Yusuf Dhu Nuiz, word spread far and wide, eventually reaching the ears of the Byzantine Emperor Justin I. Outraged by the atrocities against Christians, Justin I called on the Patriarch of Alexandria, Timothy IV, to rally support. Negus Caleb, the Aksumite king who had already intervened once, wasn't going to let this slide. This time, in 525, he decided to take matters into his own hands and personally lead his army back into Himyar. But this wasn't just any invasion. The Aksumites were backed by a Roman force sent by Justin I, making it a combined effort to put an end to Dhu Nuwa's reign of terror. The campaign was successful, and after defeating Dhu Nuwa's, the Aksumites installed another Christian ruler named Suma Alpha Ashwa as the new king of Himyar. With him in charge, the Christian churches that had been destroyed were rebuilt, and those who had been forced to convert to Judaism were given the freedom to return to Christianity. Now, you'd think that would be the end of the story, but there was more drama on the horizon. In 535 a Christian Exumite general named Abraha decided he wasn't content with the status quo. He led a revolt against Sumafa Ashwa, overthrew him, and declared himself the new king of Himyar. Negus Caleb wasn't happy about this betrayal and launched several military campaigns to try and reclaim control, but none of them succeeded. In the end, Caleb had to settle for an agreement where Abraha would remain in power as long as he paid tribute. Despite the rocky start, Abraha managed to establish diplomatic relations with not just Aksum, but also with the Byzantine and Sasanian empires. This marked the beginning of a new era in the region showing just how intertwined the fates of these ancient kingdoms had become.